Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to convert VOB files to MP4 in one click using Video Pro Converter. So why do we need to convert VOB files to MP4? It's because the VOB files cannot be played on some mobile devices that lack a DVD drive as it is derived from DVD. So if you want to enjoy the VOB videos on your mobile phones, tablets or computers, it is imperative that you convert it to MP4 because MP4 is a common and universal video format that is supported by most gadgets on the market. Now let me show you how to convert VOB files to MP4 quickly. And if you love what we do, please help to subscribe to our channel to help us grow. All the links to download and install Video Pro Converter are in the description below. So once you have your Video Pro Converter app downloaded and installed on your Mac or Windows computer, open it. It will present you with this welcome screen with four different options here. The one you click on is Video. Next, you need to add VOB file into Video Pro Converter for it to convert it for you to MP4. So at the top menu, we click on Video. Video. and now we find the VOB file that we have stored in my case I store on desktop so we're going to desktop VOB files here so I have three files in your case you may want to select all of them to convert to mp4 but in my case this is just for demonstration purpose only so I only select one because the process is going to be the same so I select the first file and click on open now the video has been added and as you can see the output format is mp4 it has been automatically selected that for you but in case it doesn't you can always go to to change that video format by clicking on target format here and you can see that we have lots of different video formats so it should be noted that video proc converter supports more than 420 different video formats but for the purpose of this video we only focus on converting VOB to mp4 so we select on general profiles here for the first option they say mp4 we select on that click on done next if you want to edit your videos first before you convert it to mp4 you can also do so as well you can see there's options down here they say cut which means you can cut the video or trim it crop put subtitle to your videos or put effects to the video or rotate it or put watermark on it let's say i want to cut some parts of the video so i click on cut here so i do not want the front part here and i would move this section to the end and now i'm satisfied with this i click on cut and then I click on done. If you want to make changes to the video resolution before you convert, you just move your cursor down here to the format that you have selected. Double click on it, it will pop this up. This is the profile setting. Here is the place where you can make changes to the quality of the video or video codec or audio codec option as well. So we'll start with the quality of the video. By default, it was like the middle, but it is recommended to move this to slow, which means high quality. Of course, the conversion will be slower, but you will get a high quality video after the conversion process is done. Next is the video codec options. If you don't have any specific device to play on, I would recommend you to keep everything exactly the way it is as original here. But if you have, let's say, your device that support different resolution, for example, let's say 1920 by 1080, then you may want to select that. But if you don't, you only play it on a computer, I would recommend you to keep it original. But in my case, I want to play on my iPhone, so I select this option here. And I will leave everything else exactly the way it is. And I click on done. Now you can see here the output resolution is now 1920 by 1080. Next, if you want to rename your video, you don't want it to have a weird name like VTS like that. You click on this pen icon and then you can rename it. So I would name it like, let's say bird 4K. This one as well, bird 4K. And then I click on done. Now the last thing you need to check before you start your conversion is by taking a look at this side here called hardware acceleration engine. So by default, if your computer is supported by the software, it will tick this one. NVIDIA or Intel or if you have M1, of course it will support as well. It will tick this automatically. It means that it will make use of your processor to make the conversion process faster. And also it is recommended to tick on this feature right here saying use high quality engine. Engine. This option will help to convert your video in a high quality mode. You can also change the output folder where you want your video to be stored. But I would just leave it like that. And once everything is ready, you click on run. So just wait for it to start the conversion. It won't take long.
and as you can see now it's done right here is a bird 4k let's check the video see how it works As you can see it works perfectly so with video prop converter it doesn't just give you the ability to convert from any videos audios or DVD to more than 420 formats you can also convert a physical DVD directly to any of those formats and last but not least you can also use video prop converter to do screen recording using this feature called recorder you can record your computer screens or your iPhone or iPad screen as well using Using this feature and for Mac computer in the future updates video pro converters will provide you with three more AI options just like the version on Windows computer so the first option is called super resolution for this AI super resolution option you can enhance your old archives of videos by 400% and elevate them to stunning 4k or 8k quality this is ideal for old YouTube videos vintage home videos movies DVD videos, low resolution recordings, and AI generated images. The next feature is called frame interpolation. With AI frame interpolation, you can convert your 30 or 60 or 120 frame per second video to 240 or 480 frame per second or higher, creating stunning AI slow-mo effects for TikTok and generate realistic new frames for stop motions, time-lapse videos, and 3D or CG footage. And the last AI feature is called stabilization. For this feature, cinematographers can also enjoy the AI video stabilization which provides a high quality anti-shake effect for handheld footage it can eliminate video shake from video recorded by GoPro smartphones drones or other handheld cameras okay that's it for today this is how you can convert VOB files to mp4 with video pro converter again if you love what we do please help to subscribe to our channel to help us grow thank you so much for watching have a great day guys see you in the next video